fish and bring it around. You just have to be a little more careful because it tips in easily. Little take and give there, take and give. Yes, good. And so it's not leaning on you anymore. See it? Now try to create the idea that when you push, it lifts the left around. That's it. Good. She's got the memo. A little bit the shoulder, not too sharp. Yes, because it doesn't come around, it just tips in towards you. Yes, so you have to be careful how much pressure you put on the head because it'll just tip over the right. So when you push up the right with the whip, you can then guide it around with your hand. Yes, so you can start to be able to create a curve. Yes, because she doesn't have any curve, right? This way it doesn't curve at all. Same as when you ride, right? Initially, you had to go straight lines because your circles, he never moved off your right leg. It's not that way anymore, but you remember, right? That's the horse's problem. You know, that's the horse not able to, there you go. It's the horse not being able to curve the right side, and that starts with even weight in the shoulders. This horse's case, this direction, not tipping over the right one. Nice. There we go. Push the middle a little now. Ah, that's pressure in the hand. Yeah, when you see him kind of bob a little in the neck there, help the left side come around. Nice belly and help it, help it come around that center. You know, envision your leg on the horse and you want to bend him around it. More forward. He's a little bit lagging. Nice. Curve it now. Once it has enough energy, then you can try to bend it. Nice. Push the middle. Yes, bring it around. Bring it around. Nice. You can walk. That's great. Very 